Although, if you ask anyone, are you going to die one day? Yes. But the action seems that he is not, he is immortal. My actions say, I am immortal. I am doing the deeds as though I am never going to die. These are not the deeds of people who are going to die one day, which I am doing. The people who are leave face of their deeds are different. They, their deeds are different, their actions are different, their glances are different. So we act like as though we are immortal, but in actual fact we are not. So we want to just ward off death. The topic of death also disturbs, oh talk about something else. It doesn't matter. You can't avoid reality. It's like a pigeon which closes, shuts his, its eyes actually when it sees the cat coming towards it. It will still be there. The cat will still take it. Or like an ostrich dumps his head in the desert when a desert storm comes. Still the body is there, it's going to face the reality. So it doesn't matter. Yet you avoid death or not, the death Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Aina ma takunu yudrikumul mawt. Wherever you are, the death will approach you. If you are even locked in castles of metal and steel, still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, death will come to you. No, you can't run away. You are running away. Kul innal maut allazi tafirruna minhu. Are you running away from death? No. Fa innahu mulaqikum. You don't need to come. Death will come to you. It will meet you. It will say, Salaamu alaikum to you. Hello to you soon. One day when it will come. And all people will be there. All your family, friends will be there because they were never supposed to be there forever because they were just a part of a test given to you temporarily. Even husband, wife, children, they are fitna, meaning they are a test. They are not to be permanently there. And as someone asked, saintly person, is there any cure for death? Mot ka bhi koi laaj hai. Is there any cure for death? Cancer has cure, AIDS might have cure, but is there any cure for death? He said, what do you mean by death? He said, I mean death separates a person from what he loves. Death is separation. He said, yes, if that's death, there is cure. There is cure, there is solution. You can avoid death if death is the name of separation. He said, how, how can you please tell me quickly, what do I have to eat? He said, you say death is the name of separation that you become separated. If you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then living or dying doesn't make a difference because Allah is with you. If He is your beloved, He is with you in this life. And even after you live this life, in, after death, at the time of death, in the grave, He is with you, so there is no separation. If you love other things, yes, that is, will come to you definitely. Because you will be crying, oh, I left my beloved, I love dunya, my money, my bank account, my car, my this, my that. Then actually, yes, death, is, death means separation and you are separated. But if you want escape from death, then love Allah, you will never be separated. Even you go to the, come to the grave, you'll come more closer to Him. Even you go on the day of judgment, you come more closer to Him. If you go in Jannah, you come closer to Him. So there is cure for death. Mot ka bhi ilaj hai. Mot agar judai ka naam hai, to Allah se mahabbat karna, wo judai phir uski nahi ho. So you see, your whole problem gets out. That's why pious people, righteous people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, La khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun. Nor they fear, nor they grieve. What do they need to grieve? Not what do they need to fear? They are always going to be with their beloved. They are always going to be with him. What they can't do. If someone kills them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, The really who have relationship with me, وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَنْ يَقْتَلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Don't call them that they've died, those who are 
who are intimate, who die for me, don't call them that they've died. Bal ahya, they are living. Because in the Rabbihim, they are with their Lord who they loved in this dunya, and they with their Rabb now as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ قُتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ They are living with their Rabb. And they were with their Rabb in this dunya, and they are with their Rabb now. So what's the difference for them? So Allah said, وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَنْ Don't say they've died. They've not died. They are living. The death is separation for those who have made false ideas and who loved wrong things, which they were not supposed to. Which they were to be separated from anyone. So, sense of immortality. If you want to be immortal, love Allah and His Messenger, you become immortal. Simple as that.